Before we start patching today, do you have any questions about Multimod? Favorite patches to share? Things you'd like to see covered on our channels? If so, please let us know in the comments to this video, because that can help guide our sense of what we should try out next. It doesn't just have to be about Multimod, either. We make plenty of other modules and instruments as well. Okay, so over recent weeks, we have sliced into sequences for multi-mod replication at the clock and gate level. Now let's see about replicating a sequencer's CV values directly. Like anything with a synthesizer, there are countless possible approaches to this. Let's see where the patch takes us. Three different VCOs all tuned to the same note. Let's start by patching the Renee's XCV output to the multi-mod input. And we'll take some of its outputs to the VCOs. Turn the knob for the current location. We can hear the notes being distributed to the VCOs together. Let's knock them out of phase, meaning that each of the channels will be delayed to a differing amount. Shifting melodies is a classic composition technique since time memorial. Time immemorial? Anyway, so yes, if we were to clock the sequencer, we could phase shift the time it takes to make it through the multi-mod and out to the individual VCOs. I'm more in the mood for something I can control gesturally and momentarily rather than something that constantly repeats in this way. So instead, let's use the XCV input. We'll turn on the add function on the function page. And this will simply add whatever I CV I in. This will simply add whatever CV I patch in quantize it according to the settings on the quantize page, the enabled notes and octave setting, and then send it out to Multimod. Let's start with the press point as a CV source here. and down arpeggio that makes its way through the three VCOs in succession. Remembering that the depth, the overall possible depth of the phase control is directly related to the time base as set by the con uh, time control. So the longer we set time, the longer phase delays are available to us here. Hold, we can 
sort of keep these gestures looping and wrapping around in the vault of mud. Okay, so let's set up some kind of malleable repeating voltage source. I'm thinking a cycling function from this mass channel. As we adjust the various time and curve controls, we can hear how it sort of sets the shape of the resulting arpeggios. The quantized page also lets us sort of spill different scales and ranges into the mix. Let's get some kind of bass rhythm going that we can uh, juxtapose this math cycle against. We'll use another cycling math channel and we'll uh, molt that out to clock the multimod. And let's take the sum out from this math as well and molt it to some kind of uh, note shaping amplitude parameters. on both DXG channels, frequency input on the QPOS. And actually, let's use the sum out here. This way we can easily control the amount of this cycling function that's getting to all these parameters. And we can also, if we like, add an offset with the middle channel, channel three, That'll let us keep all the destinations slightly open when we want to, giving quick control over how sparse or full the overall sound is and whether these pitch changes are going to need to coincide with the amplitude changes in order to be heard. Since these two cycling functions are not directly related to each other, there may be times when they don't really coincide. Also, clock Tempe with this same cycle. Get some, uh, some timed Brucia modulation going. Oh, <laughs> my